It started out as a friendly karaoke competition between two YouTube channels. Incredible Javier versus West Coast Graffiti for karaoke supremacy. No one ever imagined it could turn out so bad. I'm gonna be doing Dream On by Aerosmith. And I, I have a big heart, homie, so I love rock and roll and romantic music. With Javier winning, it left a lot of questions. West Coast Graffiti started inquiring. After such a great performance, how did he come up on the losing end? I have admitted that I messed up on the lyrics, but hey, this is new to me. I'm new to karaoke, man. On the other hand, Incredible Javier, he knows what to do. He's a singer, he's a rapper. He knows how to handle these situations. I don't, man. Javier, on the other hand, took things in another direction. Did the wind get to his head? After the win, he started shopping around a demo in order to get signed as America's next great singing sensation. Honestly, I don't understand what the whole controversy is about because it's obvious and apparent that I want it fair and square. You know, West Coast Graffiti, I, I don't know. He just wasn't bringing it that night. And it's okay. We all have our off nights. I'm not going to hold that against him. But from the beginning, he had no chance. He had no chance. But I'm not here to talk about him. Honestly, I don't want to talk about him. I want to talk about my newest single I'm about to drop. I'm trying to shop around this demo so I can get signed and really show everybody what my skills are like. I'm going to show you guys a sneak preview. Now, this is, this is, honestly, I shouldn't even be doing this. But I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek. I'm going to treat your ears. Go ahead. So be ready because this is the next hot shit. You're going to hear this all over the radio. Power 106, 92.3 The Beat, uh, uh, KRLA. You're going to hear this everywhere. Here we go. Had to kick it off with a smooth little uh, drum line, you know, that old school shit. I'm going to kick into some real lyrics here, real lyricism. Oh. Girl, why you busy? Girl, why you busy? What you going to do tonight? What you going to do? Want to get some tacos? Yum, yum, yum. What you going to do tonight? can't tell me that shit's not banging right there that shit is banging that's gonna be the newest hot shit so now i'm not worried about this little controversy between me and whoever else because i know where i'm headed i know where this is taking me and we're going out of space baby unfortunately the competition didn't stop after the karaoke contest people were split and you had to choose a side the side you chose can get you hurt because people were looking for retaliation. We caught up with legendary bus driver Uncle Jess to hear what he had to say. Last stop. Yeah, man. Go ahead. A few, a few questions what? for the karaoke documentary. What's it? Karaoke documentary. You're from the karaoke thing. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about so that? How the fuck do you know where I work at? Uh, we, we find out. You watch my life. We've only had one. The shirt. All right, look. I'm gonna tell you like this: Javier shit sucks. The West Coast Graffiti guy, he sucked a little less. But I don't know. I don't think uh, either of them should have won or whatever. Or compete. Look, I didn't watch it. Fuck. Everybody wants me to like be part of this. Shit. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But you gotta go though. Fuck out of here. Peace. His wife of almost 20 years felt differently. She supported her man, and this is what she had to say. You know, I don't give a fuck, eh? I'm fucking down for my walk away, and I'll tell you this. He fucking killed it that night. He fucking, he fucking did excellent. No one's fucking stopping him. He's the best. No one can fucking stop him, eh? Still others felt like they deserved to win, and they felt their grievances weren't being addressed. We caught up with Love Machine, to see what he thought about this situation. Uh, uh, 1,000. Oh shit, hey, what's going on? I didn't see you guys right there looking at the bodacious guns. Urgh. What's going on with you guys? Let me read some of these comments. What do you think about the karaoke challenge with cricket? 
That was no challenge. That was a giveaway. It was a charity. They gave me the cricket. These three judges, man. If you notice, they all had glasses. They can't see for shit. <laughs> they can't see or hear. Because I ain't hear what they were hearing. You know what I mean? And um, I don't want to be too mean, too rude and shit. But to be honest, my opinion, the person that won that karaoke challenge was me. I was there in spirit. My voice rang the loudest. I'm the true winner. They cheated me out the first one. Now they're going to try to cheat me out the second one by not inviting me. Well, they invited me, but, you know, I have better things to do. You know what I'm saying? But I won. I am the champion. These judges don't don't read between the lines. I'm the champion. I'm the dopest. I got the American Idol voice. I got everything you need. I even got a double chin to help me breathe better when I sing. You see that? Somewhere right there. It's just there. I'm the champion. Don't you forget that, Incredible Javier. Like The Undertaker. <laughs> Even the former champion had some doubts about Javier's win. Here's what she had to say. Excuse me, what did you think about the karaoke challenge? Oh, uh, I think the karaoke challenge, they bought it off. Uh, so Incredible Javier, man, honestly, like I don't even think he should have won. Like He's thinking he's all that. That's why I didn't want to join. See, I'm a former... Uh, karaoke challenger um, I won last last time you know what I'm saying and um, I, I played by the rules you know what I'm saying and so it's like West Coast Graffiti and Incredible Javier I don't know what's the drama and the beef they got going man but like that's the reason why I didn't join this time that's all I gotta say and you know what Corey had it in the back she should have won man that's all I gotta say not everyone thought West Coast Graffiti was cheated we talked to Paul of the LA Times with the Z YouTube channel. He had a lot to say. You know, all I gotta say is, is there's levels to this. There's levels to this. When I first heard about the beef, I started asking around. The next thing you know, stuff started happening. I'd be on my phone, it'd be clicking and just weird things. I'd see people at the corner and be like, what's going on? The biggest thing that happened was the ice cream man. We support our local ice cream man. He's coming down the street with his little tunes, this and that. And I go out and this time I go out and Fernando's not the driver. It's some uh, some guy in a mask with black hair in the back and a cap backwards and get on sunglasses. And he's kind of short, you know. So I go to buy my, my ice cream sandwich and I was like, you know, hey, you know, where's Fernando? And the guy, he, he talked, but it sounded, voice sounded familiar anyways. So he gave me... He said, we're out of that, but you know what? Today, since you're missing Fernando, it's on me. And he gave me a package, a little package. And I, I said, okay, thank you. And what was weird and odd when he drove away, it sounded like the tune of the West Coast Graffiti Show. But I wasn't sure. So I went back and I started to sit on my porch and I started to open this package of the ice cream. I was surprised because I didn't know what it was. I looked down. There was a chocolate covered cricket smashed up. And I called my homeboy, Cholo Trucker. And I said, hey, Cholo, what does this mean? He said, that's a Sicilian message. It means incredible Javier is gonna sleep with the fishes. There's levels to this. That was the first thing. We also had the chance to interview subscribers. Both of them wish to remain anonymous. I don't like it, the uh, incredible Javier. No, no, he make a fun of me. He make a fun of me. He say, I say the mashed potatoes. I don't like him. I don't like him. He's no good. I don't know why they had to have this competition. They should have just left it alone. Too many people are getting hurt over this. Shit's hot on the streets right now. Just put a stop to it, please. Just put a stop to it. We caught up with Javier one last time, showed him the footage, and got his opinion. This is what he had to say about everything we just seen. People could say whatever they want. I can't stop him. I'm not going to be able to stop him. It's easy to take shots at the champ. It's easy to throw stones at a giant. I'm going to tell you this. There's no conspiracy. I earned and I deserve that Cinco de Mayo karaoke championship.
No one gave it to me. You can't buy that. You can't buy the talent I have. There's a reason I'll soon be headlining Coachella. There's a reason I'm gonna have sold out crowds in Shanghai. There's a reason the Astrodome will be packed for people to watch me sing. It ain't a conspiracy. It's just common sense. I don't care what anyone says. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'm pissed off. That's it. Interview's over. Leslie we spoke to one of the judges and found out this conspiracy goes deeper than we could ever imagine. My name is irrelevant because that is what my life has become. But I'm ready to break the silence. All right, let's get straight to the point. So what was the role that you played in the karaoke competition? I was a judge. I was one of the judges and I... um, I wanted to take it seriously, but uh, I thought it'd be fun as well. I felt the uh, camaraderie, and, and and I thought it'd be something, something fun to uh, to do with this YouTube karaoke competition. And at the time, did you know what you were getting yourself into? <sighs> I had no idea. Which is why I have to conceal my identity. It's no, I, I I had zero idea. I thought it was just a fun competition, and it was just something at the time that I wanted to be a part of. But knowing what happened, what knowing everything that was here lead to, I would have never done it. And when did you know or kind of start to feel like, hey, there's something wrong here? When did you start to feel that? When, as soon as I started getting the phone calls at, you know, late nights, the the, the threats, money into uh, my bank account and with messages saying that, listen, it's either the money in uh, in your bank account or the blood in your body. Uh, all the threats to myself, to my family, um, everything that was going on, it's showing up at my job, drones just over- hovering over my house, following me. It was madness. So you're saying this wasn't no fair game? I... No, but I never thought it'd be, it'd come to this. I never thought it was connected. No, it was not fair at all. Those threats, literally threats. And it was all connected. This started from way back, just so this one individual can win. This started from way, 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 way back. It's all connected. What do you mean, all connected? It's all, all connected from the, the the New Mexico Roswell UFO UFO crash landings, from from uh, uh, JFK assassinations, from the Chupacabra, from the Tom Brady Deflate Gate. It's all connected. Came, came down to this one event. It was all there, pieces. It was all one big puzzle puzzle that came. So this one individual that goes by the name Incredible Javier, so he can win. It was all connected, started from way back then. So what would your message be to the world, to the people? <sighs> this is tough. If if you ever if you ever get invited 
or if you ever want to get into YouTube karaoke, just please know, understand my story. It's not what you think it is. It's so much bigger. And it's going to change your life. It's going to flip your life all the way around. So just please understand that. And lastly, why are you doing this? What what are you getting out of this? Why are you exposing this, if you will? Because I... I just want my life back. How do you move forward from something like this? What do we do with this information? Only time will tell. The lasting effects of this karaoke challenge.